Our Dr. Frank George has received thousands of questions from viewers about the COVID vaccines. And tonight he's back to answer more of your concerns, starting with a question about so-called long haulers. Doc. Well, Devin, so Rita asks, can the vaccine help with the lingering side effects of having the virus? Well, unfortunately, Rita, the answer is no. And big picture, we aren't really even completely sure what factors are involved in some people having prolonged after effects of a coronavirus infection. Now, here are some more of your questions. A viewer asks, have there been a significant number of deaths from getting the vaccine? And if so, why are they not being reported? That's a very fair question now that over 50 million people have received at least one dose of a vaccine in the United States. The CDC published data that's been collected in the vSafe smartphone-based monitoring system and VAERS, the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System. For the first month of the vaccine rollout, between December 14th and January 13th, just over 13 million vaccine doses had been administered. In that time, there were 518 serious events in people who received the vaccine who were not long-term care facility residents. Of those 518 serious events, there were 35 deaths, 16 after the Pfizer vaccine and 19 after the Moderna vaccine. Review of 16 of the reported deaths indicated underlying heart disease, cancer, stroke, probable pulmonary embolism, and otherwise frail health as the cause of death. At the time of publication, the remainder were still being investigated. Big picture, these are monitoring systems that cannot identify a cause and effect relationship without investigation, but that is still a very small number of deaths among the millions of vaccine doses administered. Now, finally, Janice asks, if we are already vaccinated with both shots, do you re recommend wearing double masks or will a single mask be sufficient? So double masking reduces the amount of respiratory droplet that are both inhaled by the wearer and breathed out toward other people. If you are fully vaccinated, your chances of being infected or asymptomatically spreading the virus is dramatically reduced. And at that point, it just becomes a question of personal values. Personally, for me, I've been vaccinated and I only wear one mask in public. Back to you. I know that's a question you're getting a lot. All right, Doc.